how do I explain this? All right, so Vince McMahon did an interview today, and in that interview, he explained how he was talking about the Endeavor merger and how Endeavor bought out WWE. Now they're under the uh, umbrella with UFC. And he also went on to be asked about creative. And he said, well, I handle the higher creative. For lack of a better term, I didn't really understand what they meant by that. But if I had to take a guess, I would say maybe he handles the big decisions because he went on to say that Triple H still handles all the uh, the branches. Like the, it, it, for lack of a better term, it sounded like he was saying the little things, which was the way that I perceived it to be was small, low key condescending. <laughs> he said he was still in creative, but at a higher level, while Triple H would still oversee everything else. Again, sounded condescending to me. I could just be reading into things, but me personally, I wouldn't take that level of disrespect. Now, the thing that we could see happening from this UFC WWE under the Endeavor merger is as follows. You guys will remember yesterday, we saw a lot of ads around the ring at WrestleMania. We saw that on Saturday as well. If you guys know my war with TurboTax, it still continues. What is they? I hate TurboTax and everything that it stands for. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just the fact that it kept interrupting the matches at, uh, at WrestleMania really pissed me off. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch my clips on TikTok. Um, but you know to, to to square off all that the ad revenue that they received from that was exponentially higher than any other year in history what i would say with this merger now moving forward is that we may see more cross promotion ads more ufc promoting a wwe and vice versa we may also see um you know dc maybe showing up more in wwe and we may also see again for those of you who don't know daniel cormier dc um, and then we may also see a few stars maybe, you know, in the crowd more at UFC events and things like that. Maybe a crossover promo here and there. Um, but I don't see anything actually changing within the WWE aside from more ads. That is the only thing that I see here. Some people perceive that as a negative. I see it more as a positive since they're going to make more money, which will allocate more money for them to hopefully contractually acquire more higher graded superstars and pay them a bit more money. Do I see that happening? No. But that's me trying to be positive about the situation. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then one of the things just to make sure you guys are aware. So with the Endeavor acquisition, that means that they take over majority percentage of the shares, meaning the 51% needed to actually own the company, while the other 49% will remain with the shareholders, uh, stockholders, I guess. And then they're also going to be like traded as one public company as well. The only other negative that I see from the merger is that now this gives a bigger incentive for Endeavor to put WWE's premium live events behind paywalls when their contract inevitably expires with Peacock if it does. Uh, because they were having rumors that Nick Khan was open to the idea of putting the premium live events behind a paywall similar to what UFC is doing right now with ESPN Plus and among other things. So that would be the only real major drawback that I see here aside from the constant ads that we may see moving forward around the ring and stuff. Um, that we have already have been seeing anyway. That would be probably the main thing that I would 